Hi, welcome back. It's Wednesday, March, the middle of March, middle of the week. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I think it's the 16th. If I'm just gonna record my day today. I'm gonna be in Tacoma and I am going to be door dashing. And um, yeah, so come along for the ride. Not so much car life, more like DoorDash. But it's me, it's still me. <laughs> and to my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome to my channel. All right, about to go online and it's plus $2, but there's it's like not too busy. But um, yeah, we'll just see what comes in. My gas light just came on though, so I am gonna go get some gas. So usually like I take Monday, Tuesday off and um, today's Wednesday, so it's kind of like my Monday. And I like to ease into it. Like I'm not gonna stress myself too much. Um, you know, I've got five days of driving. If I make around 200 every day, that's like a thousand dollars for the week. That's great. Um, sometimes on the weekend I can make a little more. So if early this Wednesday, Thursday part, I make a little less, um, no big deal. I, I'm, I'm all about pacing myself and just not stressing too much about it. Okay. Just got some gas and I turned on Uber and DoorDash because, um, I have my Uber earnings going to one account and I need to add a little bit of money in there. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get a couple rides for Uber throughout the day. Oh, here's one. All right, so there's that order. Um, not too far away, not too long of a drive, $8. I'll take it. And I paused my DoorDash because I don't like to try to it, it, once in a while it happens where they overlap or I'll forget to turn off one and if it looks like it's the same area I'll accept them and do both but like I said I'm not trying to stress myself out with having multiple deliveries um, it's just not how I <laughs> I mean one of the reasons I do delivery driving is because it because of the, the low stress factor and being able to kind of manage my time and when I want to go online and all that. So um, yeah, it's nine o'clock. So that was my starting time. First order came in right at nine. And, um, but yeah, daylight savings kind of has me thrown for a little bit of a loop. Um, I, it was nice that it, it coincided with like Monday, Tuesday. I just chilled yesterday. I was tired. I know where this McDonald's is, where this order is, so. But let me show the sights a little. Tacoma, Washington. We're getting into the downtown area. It's nothing too fancy. I'm trying to decide if I want to take a left here, or I don't know if I want to be behind this bus. So we're gonna keep it pushing. So we're in Tacoma. There should be a view up here. Tacoma. Oh, the mountain, you can't really see. You can see the very top of the mountain over there. But yeah, Tacoma's got some nice views. Some nice skyline. Or, yeah. there's, it's a pretty industrial city though, so there's a lot of um, like factory type stuff and like a port. It's a, there's a port. So there's like these, a lot of like, where boats, like international freight boats come here and um, Seattle is too, and but so is Tacoma. There's a lot of these apartment buildings going up recently. I wish I had a holder where I could just put my phone. Yeah, see, so much new, new, new uh, growth, I guess you would, you could call it, depending on what you think growth is, but yeah. A lot, a lot of new concrete buildings going up. Anyway, here we are at the McDonald's. Now, I could go in the lobby, but this this uh, McDonald's is always pretty quick, and there isn't really much of a line, and I actually like not having to get out of the car. Like, so I could have gone in that one too, but I'm not stressing it, remember? No stress. I went to the wrong McDonald's. This is why I don't usually record my delivery driving, because when it's time to make money, I just like to bust it out and make money and 
I guess I could go this way. So now I'm in a little bit more of a rush. I know where it is. If I had just looked at the map, I just assumed because of the distance from where I was, which one it was, but it's a different one. Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, that's a mistake on my part. I'm just gonna hurry up and try to get to this next McDonald's. my little snafu and I'm trying to make up some time spring is in the air for sure okay got my order and actually I had to um, wait just like two minutes so the timing worked out and now drop off is only three minutes away pow keep pushing first delivery of the day so what I will do even though I don't like to have both apps on on the same time I'm one minute away from my drop-off for the uber the, the McDonald's order that I just got so I'm gonna turn my DoorDash back on so um, because I'm about to drop that one off and I just want to you know keep open to accepting at all times so I it was only like a couple seconds before I got a DoorDash delivery for original house of pancakes um it's got a really high mileage drive ratio and i'm taking it so i first gotta drop off this uber one okay we're off to original house of pancakes it's only like two minutes away it was easy flow. I like that when that happens with the deliveries. And there's like no downtime or waiting time. So I did go offline for Uber. Now I imagine, well, it depends how busy DoorDash is, but usually it's like, then I'll just be on DoorDash for a while. But if it slows down, I'll turn the Uber back on again. So let's see. Off to my second pickup of the day. Pick that up now. Off to the drop off. All right, so I do love DoorDash, and I'm really not trying to say anything negative because oh, here we go. No, see, now they're trying to do this to me again. <sighs> I'll show you this order. I keep I keep declining it, so I'm actually gonna pause my dash. And what's crazy is they count those. Even though it'd be one pickup and it was like one thing that came into my phone, they counted as like me canceling 10 orders. So I was actually at 90% and it went down to 80%. But whatever. <laughs> it's That's still plenty high. But yeah, DoorDash, mm -mm. No, because if you think about it, A, I don't necessarily have room for 10 meals in my car like I might be able to and if it was like I've done ones before that were like four and on Thanksgiving it was really fun because I did a bunch of Thanksgiving dinners but I live part-time in my car I don't have that set up so that's why I keep the front seat totally open and I do have room in my trunk and I have um the seat behind me is open but I'm just you know, all that frozen chicken, raw chicken and stuff. I, I don't want it. Um, and I feel a little bit suckered into it because they gave me the same order twice. The first time they were going to give me $23 for it and it said deliver by 11.58 and it's like 9.30 something now. So that's two hours for $23. I was like, no. And then they kicked it back again and added more. And they're like, well, how about $37 for two hours? And I'm like, no, I don't want that. And it was like 10. And I'm thinking, I don't, even though that's a little better, like in terms of the money, that'd be like $15 an hour, it's a little better. I still, I still declined it. But what got me is when I went in the first time and declined it, it was like, now you're at 90%. When I went in the, it would be like, you're going to go from 90 to 80% 
for that one saying no to one offer that's kind of lame but i do love doordash i'm not trying to you know i just feel like sometimes it gets it's got its days it's got its time so i'm going away from that area because i don't want that to have keep happening um i'm going to a new spot i turned uber back on and yeah i'm a little frustrated um but it is what it is let's keep it pushing and get to a different zone different area so i got an uber request it's one order from the original pancake house it says it says it's going to take 57 minutes. Um, what I've noticed about Uber is that they overestimate. It's about 9.57 now. It just came in like two minutes ago. My hope is that I'll be able to finish it in like 40 minutes and then tack on another, another delivery. Maybe try DoorDash again after that. But yeah, here we go. This is what it is. Bit by bit, <laughs> it adds up. Okay, so I have this new charger that's an audio cord, and I realized it doesn't record sound when it's plugged in. But here I am getting that same food bank delivery order, only this time it's a lot bigger. And I <laughs> put my glasses on to examine it and look at it, and I didn't want to decline it because it would have brought my ratings way down. Um... So I decided to accept it and commit to that, the 10 deliveries and hope that there was room for all of those boxes in my car. I think here I'm saying something like, I can do it. And here I'm talking about, <laughs> I did it. I got all the deliveries boxes. So there's like three boxes for each order. Well, two vegetables and there's some frozen meat that go in one of the boxes, and then there's like the dry goods. So a total of 20 boxes, and somewhere in the trunk, some in the seat behind me, and then some in the passenger seat. So then it's just the process of dropping them all off. All right, I'm at the place. Time to start unloading. Um, it's a big apartment complex, so I'm kind of hoping that all the drop-offs are in these apartments like there's i'm at apartment 417 so i know there's a lot of apartments <laughs> and that would be kind of easy if i just have to go but some of them are on the third floor so anyway i need to get started this is my workout for the day too the cool thing with these orders like packing them up like this is that um it's like the car is stuffed and it's such a good feeling it's like decluttering or I don't know cleaning out my closet or something to go through them and drop them off it's like the car gets like less and less cluttered with each drop off so it makes like dropping them off really fun actually and it's like 750 750 750 it's only 12 o'clock and I doubt it's gonna take me well let me not speak too soon but I don't think it's gonna take me two and a half hours to finish dropping these off I'm feeling hopeful and then it's gonna be time for some food some lunch somewhere it's gonna bring me to a different town too so i'll probably have to end my dash anyway but good time for a food break okay i knew i had spoke too soon because now that next drop off this next one the third at three out of ten it says it's 14 minutes away so for 77 even if i can get it done in three hours that's cool that's still 25 bucks an hour and this is kind of fun. It kind of breaks up the like restaurant deliveries. And um, yeah, so on to number three. Okay, so this is definitely a little more involved than I thought. I'm halfway through, it's 109. Four more to go. The next drop off is um, 19 minutes away. So I have the four boxes up here. A little at a time. One step at a time, baby. One step at a time. I guess right now the step is fixing my hair. All right, here we go. Down to the last one. And it's, it says it's nine minutes away and it's 151. I do know that it's time to bust open my tea. I can't believe these are still 99 cents. That's awesome. <laughs> That's what I remember them for. Ah, okay. Tasty. 
I ended up finishing those DoorDash drop-offs at 2.01, so I drove pretty much exactly five hours. I had my Uber deliveries, and I did another um, DoorDash before, so my total was 112.29 divided by five, came out to about 22 per hour, and that's not too bad. All right, I got this club, turkey club, on gluten-free bread. I'm pretty excited. It's nice. It's cool that like gluten-free is becoming like a little more um, accessible. So um, I'm not like strict, but I don't feel good when I. It's like either my mood or inflammation or just not a good, not a good match. Me and some gluten. You know what? It's getting warm out in the car. Okay, now I'm situated. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm, look at look at all that. Cheese, turkey, all this stuff, and some bacon on there. So I've kind of um I've gone off the rails a little bit with my day and my plans. Um <laughs> So those deliveries got me out here in Puyallup um, and I'm not any closer to where I've decided to go, but I'd have to drive to get back to Tacoma anyway. And at this point, I feel like I might as well just go for it. Last weekend when I was up in the area where I like to go in the mountains, I was offered a job at one of my pickups and it's a small, cozy family restaurant. And the owner let me know that they were hiring servers because he was like where are you from and you know well just so you know we're looking for help um and i was like oh cool good to know while i'm around you know um and then that was that i didn't have any more pickups so i think i might actually go back and finish my night door dashing it's about an hour away and um i might spend the night up there or i might come back to Tacoma after you know I'll be up there around four check in with the restaurant and then I can door dash for like another five hours up there and maybe hopefully make like another hundred and that'll be my 200 I'm sure I can make another 50 and so I'll be at my amount my minimum that I like to make um but I've been thinking about it for the past few days because I'm like do I actually I love that I have like this time and this freedom to kind of go wherever I mean, if I get the travel bug, I've been thinking about wanting to like check out Santa Cruz. Um, I don't know. However, I know that um, serving, you can make a lot of money and it'd be like weekend dinners and it's kind of like, I was looking at their menu and stuff's so like, you know, $20 an entree and, and up. It looked pretty crowded both times I was in there it's been crowded so I imagine that the pay you know it I don't know I'm gonna go ask some questions <laughs> so that's where I'm headed now it's 301 I had my sandwich I man I, <laughs> I'm really gonna have to like be a little better about budgeting the food that I spend now I just go I go back and forth some days I'm great like I did make coffee at home this morning and I didn't have a coffee drink. And so I was like, well, I'll have my fancy coffee. It's an espresso milkshake. <laughs> it has four shots of espresso in it. Which I'm gonna sip on while I drive through the mountains. But yeah, I am um, so hesitant to like, but I think I'm just gonna go ask some questions feel it out a little bit more and also be like look I might like need to take off after three months it's almost like a seasonal job I think it'll what it is what it can be so instead of like a seasonal job at like a national park I'll, it's, I'm like creating my own seasonal job I also think it'd be a good connection to make and I also think it'd be good to get some surveyor experience on my resume in case like down the road I want to you know it's good money serving so 
Let's go check it out. I'm back in the mountains and I think what it is is that I just can't get enough of this mountain air. I really love it up here. It just instantly lifts my mood and my like excitement for life level. And I think it's the mountain air. I think it's like seeing the mountains and the snow. I think there's like, I think that the people that live out here love being this close to like nature. Just less congested than in the city. And so it's like a different pace of life and that's kind of refreshing. And um, I also just think for like this chapter in my life, um, just to kind of, I have the freedom to kind of go with my, my f where I feel drawn to. Um, and so I am gonna go check out this restaurant. I'm back in the mountains. It's cool that this area is becoming familiar to me like a little bit. I'm beginning to know my way around. Um, but I feel like there's so much to explore, like driving wise, and that makes it a little easier, like for deliveries, but I feel like there's a lot of nature to explore. So that's exciting. So I spoke with the restaurant owner and I will be starting two days a week and working through the busy season, which is like the summer. It's kind of exciting. I'm honestly a little anxious, but I'm also pretty excited to um, begin kind of this transition time of my life. And I think I'll be able to make some good money. Add to the DoorDash. It feels like a really good next step. So even though I'm so hesitant to ha take on any kind of commitment right now, <laughs> if there's going to be one, it's going to be a one that pays well because my goal is to start saving some money. Anyway, thank you for watching and following along on this unfolding journey. I really appreciate each and every one of you.